X the flickering neon sign above the diner buzzed with an insistent whine, casting harsh shadows across the greasy spoon interior. Xavier, hunched over a lukewarm coffee, meticulously combed his remaining tentacles through the fringe of greasy blonde hair. He'd been on Earth for three rotations, and the novelty of greasy food and bad coffee was already wearing thin. His mission? Simple, on paper. Infiltrate Earth's most powerful government agency, glean their secrets, and report back. Easy, except Xavier, a Zillerin with an unfortunate allergy to human-grade clothing, felt about as inconspicuous as a bioluminescent disco ball in a library. His cover story, Xavier Spec Spectre, tech was extraordinaire, was holding together by a thread thinner than a spider silk. Yesterday, he'd nearly blown it by instinctively trying to solve a complex algorithm with a series of bioluminescent clicks, his native language. Thankfully, the gruff agent Jenkins, his supposed superior, merely scratched his head and mumbled something about needing more sleep. As Xavier sipped his coffee, a holographic newsfeed shimmered into existence above his plate. The headline screamed, Alien Artifacts Unearthed in New Mexico Desert. His heart skipped a beat. One of his brethren's escape pods, likely. He needed to find it before the humans did. He excused himself from Jenkins' incessant rambling about firewalls and data breaches and slipped into the restroom. Inside, he locked the stall and activated his communicator, a tiny device disguised as a pair of novelty glasses. This is Zylo, he spoke, his voice a series of chirps and clicks translated into human speech by the device. I require immediate extraction. My cover is compromised. Static replied, then a voice crackled through. Negative. The perimeter is compromised. You're on your own, Zylo. We'll monitor the situation. He cursed under his breath. No extraction. He was alone, a lone bioluminescent alien in a world that saw him as an anomaly, a freak. He washed his face, forcing a smile into the reflection. He had to improvise. He couldn't let the escape pod fall into the wrong hands. Stepping out, Xavier adjusted his specs persona. He was a tech whiz, a human, and he would solve this problem, one greasy burger and bad joke at a time. His mission had just become significantly more complicated, but Xavier, the alien undercover as a human, thrived on complications. The fate of his people, and potentially Earth, might just depend on his ability to blend in while standing out. 